Yeah, just uh, really proud of the start. You know, I thought we came out, a lot of energy and hit some shots, which always helps you, uh, you know, with the confidence and with the defensive energy. So Isaiah James obviously was a big part of that, coming out and, and knocking down shots the way she did. And I think our players recognized what was going on and got her the ball and got her shots. Uh, obviously, second quarter, we kind of, uh, you know, crashed a little bit there. Uh, had a hangover in the second quarter, I guess, from all the celebrating. But, uh, you know, again, uh, it was good for the young players to get some playing time, and they're going to have to help us. It's where we are. And, uh, again, the veterans, though, proud of the way they came out and uh, set the tone. Go ahead with questions. Coach, um, Isaiah James, um, she just looked like a new and improved kind of version of what we saw last year. What kind of yeah. – improvements as she made over the offseason. Yeah, I mean, she's worked extremely hard on her outside shot and her range and, uh, you know, just uh, all aspects, ball handling, things like that. I thought she made a couple of nice passes uh, there later in the game. But um, just, you know, again, she uh, plays a lot of energy and on defense trying to make plays. And, and uh, like I said, I think just got confident, got going, and, and we need her to do that. We need her to, to be somebody we can lean on a little bit. Coach, at one point in the game, you had all four scholarship freshmen on the court at the same time. Um, what have you seen from them that makes you confident enough to have all of them on the court together? Well, I hate to say it, we don't have much choice. They're going to have to play. Now, you're right. The first half, we tried not to have, but one or maybe two at a time, maybe even in the third quarter, but later in the game, got them all out there. But uh, it's where we are. I mean, we got five veterans that have been in the program, but the thing is three of them have only been here a year. So it's not like they're, you know, like we had a few years ago with, you know, four and five year players. So even them, it's kind of find your way through it all. But uh, we're going to have freshmen are going to have to help us. They're going to have to contribute and, uh, you know, some of them played well. I don't think any of them played as well as they're capable. So probably first game jitters, that sort of thing. And you have to grow up in a hurry because Sunday's going to be, you know, smack in the face. So uh, playing a great team and a uh, full house, a great atmosphere. So uh, hopefully we can figure it out pretty quick. Coach, it appeared KP wasn't available tonight. Do you have an update on her? Yeah, she was involved. They were involved in a little minor car accident. Her, her dad was here, and she was with him in the car and, and uh, had a little accident. Somebody hit them from behind at a red light. Uh, so just precautionary, making sure. I know her back and neck are uh, feeling that a little bit and uh, possible you know, concussion, things like that. So uh, yeah, holding her out right now. Coach, your interior defense looked pretty strong with a lot of blocks and uh, good rebounds. Uh, what did y'all see from that area of the game? Well, I, I thought we did a nice job of kind of carrying out, you know, taking away strengths. You know, that's something we really focus on and spend a lot of time in film and scouting report and going to walk through against scout guys and going live against the scout guys. And uh, I thought, you know, uh, Madison Hayes did a great job on Lawrence. Uh, who's a really, really fantastic, I averaged 17 points a game a year ago. Thought she did a nice job, but all of them, because we were switching quite a bit on handoffs and things like that. And, and uh, so the whole team did a nice job. And, and for the most part, pretty good job on the boards. Fouled a little more than I would like. Um, Got to learn to defend and, and then we, what we say, allow them to miss, you know, instead of bailing out the jump shooter. So uh, still some other things to clean up, but yeah, I thought especially first half we really came out and and played well defensively. Coach um, Isaiah and Mimi both said during the post game that this is more like a player led team. There's a lot of leadership from the players this year. Is that something you've noticed? So uh, I think our veterans are doing a doing a better job. Yeah, and again, it helps when you got you know all the freshmen out there that are you know they need some leadership and. But yeah, you'd as a coach, you'd much rather it be the players, you know, bringing them along and helping them and telling them what to do, rather than me having to be the voice all the time. You know, as it is, they're going to be sick of me by probably Thanksgiving anyway. But uh, at least maybe this will push it to Christmas if they'll keep leading a little bit. 
Plus, what are your thoughts on your post players with where they are now with your system and leading inside offensively, you know, really controlling the inside and out? Yeah, you know, I was a little frustrated, especially in the second quarter. Uh, obviously, y'all, I mean, we shot horribly. Uh, one for 18 and 0 for 10 from three. And we were really trying to, you know, emphasize this, get a post touch, uh, work inside out a little bit. And we didn't really adhere to that very well. We kept shooting, you know, the first quarter, a little bit of fool's gold, you know, everything went in. And so now you start feeling like you're invincible. I can shoot it from anywhere. So you got to recognize when you have a few possessions, it's not going down. You know, we were fortunate. I think they only scored seven points in the second quarter. So our defense kind of bailed us out there in a stretch where we weren't scoring at all. So um, again, we've got to get a more post presence in there. You know, I think River obviously is a veteran and, and is capable of scoring down there. And, uh, you know, Lizzie and Mallory, they need time, but uh, you know they're going to hold their own. But we got to we got to not be so guard oriented all the time. How do you feel, uh, NC State? They put pressure on you early in the game. You handled that pressure, getting it into the front court quickly, and I think it led to a lot of open three point shots. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing about pressing. You know, everybody all press, press, press. But when you press, you're going to give up shots if you don't turn them over. You know, and sometimes it's layups, sometimes it's threes. And uh, but I am a big advocate of once we beat the press, let's make them pay for pressing. You know, let's let's try to now late in the game. That's where you really run into a struggle. Do I go ahead and take the open shot, which is what they want me to do, is shoot quick uh, in a close game, whatever. But uh, tonight, you know, again, thought we did a pretty good job. Uh, I do think we'll see better, you know, better presses at times where we're going to have to handled a little bit. I know we turned it over there late uh, in the game. One time we weren't in the right spot, so we still got some things to clean up there too. I think UConn did press last year. I think yeah, it was there. I mean, approach. again, they press, they run, transition. We got, we're gonna have our hands full. You know, it's a, it's gonna be a big challenge, but you know, hey, you're playing arguably the top team in the country. Uh, it's also an opportunity, you know, uh, got a chance you know, to do something special. Uh, and you also are going to get better from it. You're going to prepare for the upcoming big games you have. So um, it's the only way to look at it. Yeah, we, got, I mean, we don't have a whole lot to lose. We got a new team, a young <coughs> team. And so let's go see what we can do. Do you see value in playing a team like Connecticut early in the season? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, again, you know, we try to, our goal is to have the toughest non-conference schedule in the ACC and one of the toughest in the country. And uh, we've been able to do that the last, you know, last couple or three years. So, uh, you know, if you saw what Colorado did last night with LSU, we're going to see Colorado in the Virgin Isles, you know, talk about messing up a great vacation, uh, you know, watching that game last night. Somebody texted me, you watching LSU? I said, no, I'm watching Colorado. Uh, because they were really, really good. So, yeah, we got Kentucky over there as well and Cincinnati. So, I mean, we got some big games coming up, and UConn will definitely uh, expose our weaknesses and let us know what we got to get better at uh, as we head down the road. And you've played them twice in Connecticut now, in consecutive years. Just are you excited to get a chance to play them? You know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Much rather play at home and. Uh, you know, last year was not a lot of fun, and we had a veteran team, and we just went up there and and uh, just got, I mean, knocked around. So uh, it's going to be a big challenge. They got a great team. I mean, heck, you got Beckers and Fudd on the perimeter, both of them two of the top players in the country, and and then their point guard uh, is just you know tough as nails, uh, and then <laughs> Edwards inside, super athletic. Uh, so I mean, again, it's uh, like I said, you can you can make the argument they're the best team in the country. So you know, here we go. But hey, when I first got here, I was out on the road in the caravan, and uh, first year, like or so, first second year, and somebody in the back of the room held their hand up, and asked the question, "Hey, coach, what's it going to take you to play Connecticut?" And at the time, I said, "You're probably going to have to get me drunk." <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe somebody got me drunk. I don't know. 
What did you see tonight from Zoe that you liked, and where do you want to see her improve? Yeah, she just, you know, defensively she can do better. Uh, she has a tendency to relax, and, you know, uh, her dad works for the NBA, and I think she's got that cool NBA sometimes, you know. They play 80-something games or whatever, so, you know, you got to pace yourself. Well, we don't play that many, so she doesn't need to pace herself. But she's a special player. She makes everyone around her better. She can get her own shot. She can create for her teammates. So, you know, I'm glad we got her. But she still, it's a big jump from high school to this level, and she's still got some, some learning to do. All right.